What is going on guys? Chaboy D1 Snipes here today. What we're gonna be doing is offense on Riot. Search and destroy. First off, we're gonna do your main slayer sniper guy, probably your best skill player. He's gonna go uh, top AC right here. Uh, the reason for this is the initial first pick. If you can do that on offense, I feel like you win the round about 70% of the time. Just bam, right here. Simple as this. There is going to be a guy here somewhere. Uh, I guarantee it. He's either going to be three story, second story right there, or he's going to be down there. Uh, guarantee it. Somebody's going to be there every time. What I would do is uh, chill back here and watch third and second story. Um, for this guy, his main main goal was the pick. Uh, he definitely should not have bomb, I don't think. Because if you get a pick right here, it's easy to see that bomb is down if he dies. Now, as your guys, you want... For this push, you're going to send one bottom here. And I'll show you this POV in a second. And then you have one going through that door over there. And then you have another guy who's going to pick up the flank. He's going to sit right up there. Um... But as you guys get, as you guys get pushed up here, what you want this guy to do is he's gonna back off. He's gonna come sit. You're gonna try and just stay alive like all the way in the back here, and you are gonna end up watching the flank. And I will show you why in just a minute. But your first job, get this initial pick, and then watch the flank. That's your main objective, even after the bomb is planted. I don't know why I just did that. And we are back with your OBJ. With your OBJ on this side, um, what I like to do is not run this LMG. But I'm trying to show you where to put smokes. I know smokes in this game don't really do much for you, but if your sniper is running a thermal, this is a really good spot to put them. So what you want to do as the OBJ is take this route right here. Put a smoke right there, and you want to put a smoke right there. Now, this peak right here is really good for just getting that smoke out there in both those spots now your thermal sniper can take care of a guy maybe in that door or maybe up top it just kinda distracts them from your sniper that's going uh, back AC now what you wanna do is wait for that first pick right here um, if things get desperate and your sniper dies uh, you may wanna pop up and see if you can get the pick if he's second story or even third story but as soon as your guy gets that first pick what you want to do is move up to right here. Um, you do not want to push this out yet. You don't want to plant because more than likely they're going to have two guys over here. At least in my defensive setup, I do. So you're checking this door and you're making the absolute sure that nobody is in this doorway, even right there in that corner. So basically, what you're going to do, you're going to get over here, you're going to put her down, whatever. A great spot to watch the bomb from. Just chill right here. You can hear people boosting up on top, or if there's people in this doorway, just hop around the corner. You're good to go. Um, another thing, another good spot for this OBJ is right here. You can uh, sound whore and you can check the bomb on the other side over here. So running the OBJ on on A is pretty easily done. You just got to pay attention and we be lost patient. that fight, but it's not over. Uh, what we're going to be looking at here is the uh, <clears throat> support guy for the OBJ. The OBJ going right through there as you saw in the last one. Uh, this guy right here, um, normally you would see a challenge right here on the bottom. What I want you guys to do is just straight jump and... Oh shit, that was a bad example. But you want to get to this pillar right here as soon as you can. Um, after that initial pick is made, either by you or your main slayer sniper, what you want to do is push up to this pillar right here so that you cannot get picked from AC you can't even get spotted from back there and you are gonna watch this right here now the reason I don't like to lay down is you can see people's feet uh, right in here from up top uh, I don't really like that plus you have more cover you're more mobile right here you're just watching the middle uh, you don't want your OG OBJ to get flanked while he's planting the bomb so right here is what your responsibility is. This is a very simple responsibility, so you want a player that maybe isn't your best slayer, maybe has trouble on this map, and with open like open gunfights. So you want this player uh, just to sit right here and watch this and then help on the flank if your guy dies up there, which we'll be talking about in the next one.
Alright, what you're watching here is your main flank guy. Uh, this player really does not need a lot of skill or anything, to be honest. This guy is going to get on the... Holy shit. On the best head glitch on this map, and he's just going to straight watch the flank. Just right here. Uh, you may be wondering why you're leaving all of this open. If a team is going to flank you from down bottom over here, after this initial pick, that sniper's main goal is to sit in that corner and watch this whole flank. Now from this corner, you will see that he cannot see the top, but he's got the lobby covered and he's got all the back covered. Now there is another door right here. Uh, really, if the defense comes through here, uh, it's kind of shot because if they do come through here, the guy's in the middle of four other people. The guy that planted the OBJ over there, you've got your support guy right there. you got the flank guy. So as soon as he's called out, it should be an automatic trade from one of those three players. So you really can leave this open unless you've got four up and they all rush through that door and kill you all at the same time. You should be fine. This flank guy, his main job, sit here, come here, watch this corner, lay down, just about anything. Uh, he doesn't really have a really big job for offense on this side. We lost that fight, but it's not over. Switching over to the B side, um, <clears throat> where you're going to put your main slayer is over here on top of this building, off to your left. Uh, this is a great building uh, for watching to see where the defense is set up, whether they have a guy down this here left alley by the blue dumpster, whether they have a guy in this uh, like little outpost building. Mid hallway, um, usually you can get to this spot and catch a guy trying to flank really hard. Um, it's a good spot to pick him up because he's normally looking for a guy right in there and he's not looking for you off to his right. Um, your main slayer needs to, all he really needs to do is get the guy that's three story back away from the ledge. So basically all he's doing is just shooting that guy up, putting some nades on him. All you want to do is be able to get the bomb down. Because as soon as you have the bomb down on this side, it's so hard to defuse that um, you really should win the round if you can get the bomb down. So that's the main goal for this guy. And just to stay alive and let your guys push up so you can get help. All right, for your OBJ on this side, he's gonna take kind of a weird route, but I think that it works most of the time. Uh, usually, <clears throat> nobody wants to go in here. But honestly, I think it's a good fake move for the OBJ to make them think that somebody's going middle. So you just step in there, little alarm goes off, they think you're going middle, just for a second. But, just a quick spot right here, right here behind these blue dumpsters, you can help your main slayer in the back so much. Anybody that's on the ground you can help pick up, and even if you go down right here, uh, the bomb's in a good spot to plant, it's behind cover. <clears throat> it allows your teammates to work around you a lot easier. So basically what you want to do is just make your way up here, first pick. Uh, after that first pick, you really want to watch this hallway. If you don't want to watch it from right there, another good spot is back here by this blue dumpster. Uh, you just want to make sure that nobody's rotating super quick. And your main goal is to plant it on this side. Now, why plant it on this side? Because if that guy does come from middle, you want him to have to come out and challenge you on this side of the bomb. So you have support from back there and another guy from up here while you're planning. So you're you're a lot safer if a guy has to come out here and challenge rather than you planning on this side of the bomb where he can just kill you off of it. Good job. All right, for this guy is your uh, support player for offense. And what this guy's gonna do is uh, <clears throat> challenge this top left AR. This first pick is essential, and I think that if you have two ARs, two on one, you should be able to get this kill, or at least trade. So basically what you're doing is waiting for this call out. This guy's gonna make the first call out. So you wanna wait for a challenge right here because the defense can get there faster. You wait for that challenge, and if it's not there and this guy says it's clear, that's when you move up, pre-aim this, and do not ever forget to check this corner because that's a popular corner for the defense. 
they jump from there, there, and then they jump up here, way before you guys can even hear it, like when you're standing over there. So always pre-aim this, check that every time, and then what you're going to do is, uh, since this guy has a good angle into uh, this hallway, what you're going to do is come over here and watch for a guy rotating back uh, this back alley right here from basketball or anything from the top. And then your very last guy, your flank guy, is he's going to check this right here. He does not want to challenge this. He does not want to challenge this at all. All he's doing is peeking for snipers, anything like that that makes the other side more safe. Now, really, if he's got guys pushing him over here, he just wants to back up. He just wants to stay alive as long as possible because this guy is really your fill-in guy. If he say your main slayer goes down he can hop back here and fill in his spot and then watch the flank after the bomb is down or if this guy gets picked on a quick rush he can pick up the support player here or even if the OBJ goes down he fills in as the support player because the support player who should be about right here if the OBJ goes down somewhere in here he just drops down picks up the bomb goes to plant and then you have your flanker guy he's coming to pick up your support and he's watching the plant so this is just kind of a fill-in guy he should be versatile this isn't your normal flank guy that you just kind of stick in the back and hope that he gets a kill uh, this guy needs to be a versatile player he needs to be able to run the long AR or an OBJ real close to the bomb uh, I think that's all I got for this on offense riot thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys learned something uh, leave any suggestions for game types or maps on the comments below. And make sure to give me a thumbs up for this one. Thanks, guys. Switching.